Have you ever wondered what it would be like if we could live on the moon or even on the sun? It would definitely be different because of their physical characteristics. The Earth is home of the human race and its physical characteristics support life as we know it. The Earth's atmosphere, size, composition, temperature, gravity, and other physical features are unique in comparison to the Sun and the Moon. For example, the Earth's highest temperature is 136 degrees Fahrenheit, while the Moon's is 224 degrees Fahrenheit and the Sun's is 9,941 degrees Fahrenheit. The Earth's lowest temperature is negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, while the Moon's is negative 298 degrees Fahrenheit and the Sun's is 7,300 degrees Fahrenheit. This tells us that the Moon is much hotter and colder than the Earth and that the Sun is way, way too hot. Let's compare some of their other physical characteristics. The Earth is composed of a thick, protective atmosphere, bodies of water, land masses, landforms, plant and animal life, and a variety of other geographical features. The Moon is composed of a very thin atmosphere, a heavily cratered surface, and no noticeable liquid water, plant, or animal life as of yet. The Sun is composed of extremely hot gases, massive amounts of energy, and very little else. The Sun's atmosphere is called the corona and its energy expands across the entire solar system. The size of the Moon, Earth, and Sun are also very different. If we were to order them by size, the Moon is smaller than the Earth, and the Earth is tiny when compared to the Sun. About 50 moons would fit inside the Earth, and about 1.3 million Earths would fit inside the Sun. Gravity is the force that attracts one body to another due to its mass. The greater the mass of a body, the greater its gravitational force. The force of gravity of the Moon is 1.62 meters per second squared. On Earth, it's 9.8 meters per second squared, and on the Sun, it's 274 meters per second squared. That means that on the Moon, you would weigh one-sixth of your weight, but on the Sun, you would weigh 28 times as much. That's really, really heavy. The Sun's gravity causes the Earth to orbit around it. The Earth's gravity causes the Moon to orbit around it. A natural satellite is an astronomical body that orbits around a planet or a solar system body. That means that the Earth is a satellite of the Sun and that the Moon is a satellite of Earth since they orbit around them. Let's review what we've learned. The physical characteristics of the Earth, Sun, and Moon are very different. The Earth's physical characteristics are just right to support life as we know it. The Earth has a temperature range adequate to support its animal and plant life. The Moon's temperature range is too high and too low compared to the Earth, and the Sun is way too hot to support any life. The Earth has a thick protective atmosphere while the Moon has a thin atmosphere and the Sun has an atmosphere made of energy that sweeps across the entire solar system. Craters are formed when meteors strike the surface of a planet or celestial body. The Moon is small in comparison to the Earth and the Earth is tiny in comparison to the Sun. Gravity is a force that attracts one body to another because of their mass. Gravity keeps the Earth orbiting the Sun and the Moon orbiting the Earth. The Earth is a satellite of the Sun and the Moon is a satellite of the Earth because they orbit around them. The gravity of the Moon is about one-sixth of Earth's gravity. The gravity of the Sun is about 28 times that of Earth. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.